Okay, next we'll do uh, simulation of uh, flip flops, different flip flops. So in the syllabus, uh, uh, we have D flip flop, SR flip flop, and JK flip flop. And in the prescribed textbook, uh, these are the diagrams given. Uh, this is a SR flip flop using NOR gate. First, we'll do this SR flip flop using NOR gate. And this is actually again SR flip flop using uh, NAND gate. Actually, this is given wrong. This should be bar, okay? R bar and uh, S bar. I'll show the proof. And this is actually active low, S bar and R bar. Here it is uh, S and R. So after that, we'll do JK flip flop and D flip flop. So open that multi sim tool. So in the SR flip flop, actually, a flip flop is a storage element. So you can store one bit of information. So if you uh, flip flops, uh, here we had two inputs, R and S. R stands for reset, S stands for set, and two outputs, Q and Q bar. Always Q and Q bar should be complementary. Q and Q bar are complementary. If Q is zero, Q bar should be opposite of Q. Okay, then only it is valid. If both are same means it is invalid. So let us see the truth table. If you have uh, 0, 0. So 0, 0 means first actually you have to make uh, S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. So that is going to make S is equal to 1. No, so it should set the normal output Q. Okay, now Q bar is opposite. So it should be Q uh, 0. Now after that if you give 0, 0 for this uh, R and S, then no change should take place. So whatever previous value was there, that will be returned. After that, we make R is equal to 1, S is equal to 0. So that is going to reset the flip flop because reset is equal to 1. So Q should, normal output should be reset to 0. And Q bar is opposite of that, so that should become 1. Again, we'll check whether uh, uh, if I give 0, 0, both will be retained or not. And finally, if you give 1, 1, we'll get 0, 0 as the output. Because in the NAR gate, this is a NAR gate, no? So if any one of the input is 1, 1 plus anything is 1 and 1 bar is 0. So both uh, NAR gate 1 and NAR gate 2 outputs are coming 0. So which is actually wrong because it is invalid. Because Q and Q bar should be complementary to each other. Here Q is also 0, Q bar is also 0. That's why in the SR flip prof, that R and S, both inputs are 1, 1 is actually invalid or forbidden. So we should avoid that uh, inputs. So now uh, we'll do a SR flip flop or this two table verification using uh, this. So I'll open new design. So I want to place two SR uh, NAR gate now. So go to place component. So if you don't know where it is, then go to all groups, all families. Then directly under the component, you click SR flip flop. So you'll get all this SR, SR negative now. So click SR. So I think it is directly SR flip flop only. So that type is it's not required. So we want to do using uh, NOR gate now. So I will show this also later. So NOR gate, so state type NOR, all groups all groups all families so you will get uh, options two input nor gate three input nor gate four input five input six input and seven so let us take two input nor gate two i want so one i'll keep here and one more i'll take okay now i want uh, actually to give digital input i want interactive digital interactive so type uh, all groups all family select all groups here click on all families and in the component you type digital uh, this is interactive i want so uh, type i and interactive So you will get interactive digital constant. Click OK. So two times you have to select this. 
one more input I want and to check the output actually if you want you can take probes so click probe here again uh, all groups all families type probe so probe you select uh, any one green color or orange color or red color anyone you can select so two probes i am putting here so now you have to do the connection so first let me connect uh, one input to here down one to here and after that this output to here these indicators are nothing but whenever it is high this bulb will glow this is like assume that it is LED or uh, some indicators or probes whenever it lights that means it is logic high okay so now the connection of uh, SR flip flop is so output of this Q should be connected to input of this and Q bar should be connected to input it is cross couple like this So here, click on here, click here, come down. If you want cross type, uh, then you can click like this. Click on here. That is option. Even without that, also it will work. Okay. No connection is over. So now actually the two table is what? This one is the two table. So we will verify the true table now. I will paste here. So we have to verify this true table now. So first uh, let me start with, uh, no, this should be interactive. This should be interactive. Click run button. So once you run, okay. So what is the, how, I think uh, I have not changed the values here. I will change the label to Q here. And this one to Q bar. Uh, Q bar, uh, you have to write uh, like this only, Q bar. And this key, using key also you can control. So you can uh, have key for toggle. This is a uh, SR, no? So let me check. Uh, you can select any one. Let me check. This is uh, R, no? Reset, this is set. Down one is uh, actually set. So this is reset. So this I'll select uh, letter R. So if I click R button in the keyboard, it should change, it will change the value. So this label also I'll change this to R. R reset or R, anyone. You can type only R, R you can click reset. Similarly, this you have to change it to label as set and and the value this i can control using another uh, uh, keyboard value that is yes if i click yes button in the keyboard it will change the value to 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so that's why it's called as digital interactive switches so you can control on 0 1 0 1 by clicking r button R key in the keyboard. This you can change by uh, clicking S button, S key. Okay. So now we'll just run this. Okay. Now, uh, first I think it is zero zero only. It is there. So that's why no change. Previously it is zero zero. No, no change. So let us start with S is equal to one. So S is equal to one. Directly click here. Okay, that and mark should come then 
you click the click on that or you can click r button r key in the uh, now you can see i clicked this so now actually q bar is high see if i click uh, reset sorry i clicked uh, s i have to click sorry s i have to click if i click s button then q is 1 q bar is 0 first one s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 so q is equal to 1 q bar is 0 right next if i make both 0 0 so 0 0 means the previous value should maintain so this again click s button s key or you click on the using the mouse you can click on that board so now same thing is retained as 1 0 only okay after that now we'll make r is equal to 1 that is reset is equal to 1 click uh, on it or press key r key now you can see q is reset Q is resetted to zero and Q bar is coming opposite of that. Okay. Next, again we'll make zero zero so that whether it will we'll see both are actually retain the same value. So click this also zero. So both are having the same previous value of that one only. Now if I give one one, so I'll click uh, here or click R, R key and S also. See, both are coming 0, 0 because in the NAR gate, okay, NAR gate, if any one of the input is uh, high, 1 plus anything is 1 and 1 bar is 0. So, for this also, 1 input is high, so 1 bar is 0. So, both are coming is 0. So, Q is also 0, Q bar is also 0. So, which is actually wrong because Q and Q bar should be always complementary to each other. So, here it is coming 0, 0 for this input case. If S and R are 1, 1, Q and Q bar both are coming as 0. So it is a invalid. Okay, that's we verified SR2 table, flip-flop 2 table, uh, which is actually implemented using NOR gate.